Hey guys and welcome to a whole new video on my channel. My name is Rania or Rania in Norwegian. I am 17 years old turning 18 in October and this is my channel so welcome. If you haven't read the title, today's video is going to be all about Taylor Swift. I am obviously wearing a 1989 inspired outfit. I'm gonna be wearing Taylor inspired outfits. I'm gonna listen only to Taylor. I'm going to read. I'm going to meet some friends. I'm going to do all the Taylor things. So I'm just gonna start with explaining my outfit to you guys. I'm gonna fix my hair later but I have this top from Big Book I believe which is just a plain white t-shirt and then I have these blue sweet skate pants and then and I have this button up in light blue from H&M. I feel like it's giving very 1989 reference picture. Yeah, I feel like it's giving very 1989. And then over to my jewelry. This ring I thought was giving a little bit of like torture poets with kind of shattered glass inside of it. And you know what I mean? And this one I was like, is it giving 1989? Because it kind of feels like sea and the sky and you know what I mean. Then I have French bracelets, obviously. None of them are Taylor inspired. They are actually all Nyla inspired and Olivia inspired, but we're gonna have to deal. I don't have pearls to make Taylor inspired and all my Taylor inspired ones broke. And uh, I'm kind of sad, but that's fine. Then I have this one earring that says love, which is for a lover. And then I have a another earring which is like red with a heart on. Last but not least I have my necklace with the letter N on it because of the song Call It What You Want which is my favorite Taylor song in the whole entire world ever and she has to play it in Poland night one. This is from the song Call It What You Want. I want to wear his initial on a chain around my neck, chain around my neck. Not because he owns me because he really knows me. I was supposed to paint my nails, but realized I don't have nail polish and my acrylics just fell off. So I don't have nails, but that's fine. We don't need those. I'm gonna do this tote bag that I actually made myself. If you wanna know things that I'm interested in, look at this. That's that. What I'm gonna have in this bag is I'm gonna have my water bottle. And then I have a little pack of gum. And then, what else do we need in there? I'm not doing anything today. I need a book. And then I'm gonna have the book I'm currently reading. This is called The Fine Print. And it's by Lauren Asher. I am 100 pages in or something. I just saw that I have not a lot of time to get ready. So I'm just gonna... I don't need anything more than that anyways. But I'm just gonna quickly put on some mascara and do my hair. And brush my teeth. And then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, hair is done. I have like little clips all over my head uh, so you can see. And I did some mascara and outfit. I am going to leave now, but I'm gonna brush my teeth first. Cute! Okay, let's go. Do I need any more Taylor things in my bag? No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Maybe I should read that book. That little book about Taylor. My toothbrush is debut coated, kinda, with a little bit of lover. And my toothpaste is 19, 1989 lover coated. I would love to drink my smoothie in this, but it's dirty. And it's my mom's coffee cup that I bought for her in London. And she uses every day and she absolutely loves. So that's good at least. Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. I need three surprise songs, okay? I need Welcome to New York. I need Call It What You Want. And I need uh, New Romantics. I made myself a little smoothie. So this has mango, strawberries, Greek yogurt, peanut butter, water, milk, a little bit of what we call soft in Norway, and did I say peanut butter and honey? And I think that's it, so. It smells, oh, I think I put too much peanut butter. It smells, oh my God, it smells so much like peanut butter. And it tastes like peanut butter, but it tastes good because I love peanut butter, so it's good. 
I actually love this with the peanut butter taste. Really good. So I haven't filmed in a while, but I'm with my friends now. And we are in the city center of Oslo. I don't know what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? We're gonna see what we're gonna do. Walk around. Walk around. Mm. The lights were too bright. The streets that promised me romance. You were nowhere in sight. You looked for me in New York. We are at the We're looking at the smoke. You've been walking for miles, miles, miles without any hope. Okay, we're listening to music and we are taking the bus home. My feet are dying. My feet are literally dying. I need to tan because so for sure, yeah, I'm so black. Thumbnail. The weather is nice though. It was pissing rain earlier today. And we were inside. But it's nice. So we're fine. Yeah. We're good. I'm gonna go home and make some food and do some Taylor things. Cutie. We're listening to Taylor, by the way. Yeah. Obviously. Carolina. So she saw Taylor in Stockholm, by the way. And she Loved it. Yeah. I was amazed. I'm gonna see her in Poland in Warsaw in uh, August, the first of August. So, hey, I'm home. I am going to, I'm so hungry right now. I'm going to make some dinner and listen to Taylor. So, I'm listening to 1989 on my Google Home. Wait, let me show you. I'm listening to 1989 Taylor's version, obviously. And yeah, amazing. I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm also gonna have the rest of the smoothie that I made because it was actually so good. Like it was actually so good. I love it. Got this feeling for the first time, a reason to run away. And I know you feel the same. PJ pants from H&M and then I have my cardigan t-shirt uh, which it looks like it's August themed actually I always thought it was August themed because this is literally so sorry but it actually has the lyrics to cardigan on the back I don't know if you can see it but it does and then I have my folklore cardigan yeah so that's what I'm wearing to sleep I'm gonna take the cardigan off because it is kind of warm if I sleep in it but I'm gonna cozy up in it for a little bit and so I'm gonna put my glasses back on Actually, I have to clean my glasses first because these are so dirty. No. I just sprayed perfume on my glasses. <sighs> Perfect. I clean my glasses. So, what I'm going to do now, I was planning on watching Miss Americana, but I've watched that a thousand times and I, so what I want to do is I want to watch Hannah Montana. If you say Hannah Montana, we say Hannah Montana, so, you know, but I want to watch Hannah Montana because... Taylor has a song in the show. Or is it the movie maybe called Crazier? Yeah, so I want to watch the show. They also, I know they talk about Taylor in an episode. I saw it on TikTok or something. I have never watched the show fully, like fully through from episode one to the last episode. Like I obviously grew up with Hannah Montana being on Disney Channel and stuff like that. So I have watched a little bit of it. I know most of what happens and I know the characters. I just haven't watched it fully through and I really want to do that because I am a Disney lover. Okay, I love Disney to my core, like kicking it. That used to go on Disney XD. I don't know if it still does, but it was a Disney show back in 2010 to 2015 or something. I've watched that a thousand times and also Austin and Allie. Everybody knows Austin and Allie. I've watched a thousand times. I've watched... I also love the like 90s sitcoms from Disney like Boy Meets World. I am going to watch some Hannah Montana and I'll see y'all tomorrow. So it's not really morning anymore. I ate breakfast and all of that. I don't remember what I told you earlier but I've eaten breakfast and I'm on my way to go to the gym right now. So I'm wearing my Aeris Tour shirt that I bought when I was in London and a pair of leggings from Bump Row and my 
cardigan t-shirt still. So I'm going to do arms with a friend. And yeah, I'm going to do some more tailored things later today. But I'm going to get my workout in right now at least. And I have a very, very high ponytail. Like right on the top of my head right now. But I'm going to grab my things and then I need to finish doing the washing up for or washing the kitchen and then i'm gonna go to the gym on my way to the gym right now i have my gym things here outfit is on and everything i didn't completely finish cleaning the kitchen because i didn't have time because i have to be quick because i told my friend i would be there at 2 40. i need that i need to be there at 2 40 because she couldn't do any later so i'll finish the kitchen when i come home from the gym my plan for the gym is we're gonna do arms and then i'm gonna run 5k and listen to taylor's eras tour set list that i started listening to when i was doing the dishes there's the bus okay so we're at the gym it's so hot outside i need to take this out off because it was so warm but we're gonna do some arms let's meet on the island halfway sunset roses dancing under the rain all the people are far and it's warm in the dark the silence won't call a name Hey besties! I am really tired. It's pretty late. I'm going to cry. I have no literal concept of time. Okay, I have no concept of time. I feel like I do things half-assed because I never feel like I have time to do anything. I don't know. This is a little rant because... I need to think of solutions rather than problems. I'm really bad at time management. Like, I put too much on my plate. Like, for example. So, what I'm supposed to do today is edit four videos, film two videos, and post one video. And I'm also supposed to run 5K, do an arm workout, and also do all the tailored things. And also, I'm supposed to recreate Pinterest pictures. How do all those things work out in one? They don't. They literally do not. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna make friendship bracelets. This is lover themed if you can't see it. It's like one of these bracelets. I made one, I can show you a finished one. I made one for Nile tour or I made one for Nile in particular. This is for Nile. he never got it. But when I meet him someday, I hopefully will be able to give it to him. It looks like this has like the show colors and I really miss Nile tour. I miss traveling as well. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to watch Destiny Said Well and I'm gonna make some friendship brace friendship Flow bracelets. Like water. We collide like a star. Everything we not have me been. literally already having not a good day and doing my bracelet the wrong way like i did it the right way but i did it like this part is what i had done before i started now and then this part under here is what i did now like this is what the back of this looks like like this is supposed to be the back but i switched it up and unfortunately the back is now the front it's so annoying but it's fine i'm gonna fix it or i'm not gonna fix this part particular part actually because I don't feel like it but I'm gonna fix it when I go back to this the video is done so I'm gonna stop making bracelets right now this is also a thing I'm doing for this video by the way I am gonna learn a Taylor song this is so dusty because I had nails for three weeks so I couldn't play for three weeks so ignore the dust on my guitar but I am gonna learn a Taylor song on the guitar okay I'm really bad at the chords where you have to like hold your finger like this over a lot of strings i have not practiced those enough and then it's here oh no this is hard and these two you know i adore you i'm crazy for you and i was at 16 lost in a thousand is there no pop on this and I was at 16, and I was at 16, lost in a film scene, 
waving home corn queen, marching the play. I lost in the lights. American. My team is losing, battered and bruising. I see the highlights between the bad guys. Leave with my head. You are the only one who seems to care. Hello, 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 hello. How are you? I'm currently in the car waiting for mi madre and eh, porque ella is um, en el hospital. No sé. Anyways, that was definitely not the right way to say that in Spanish. She's not in the hospital. She's just at her doctor's appointment. Mi madre habla con su médica. No sé. Ya vete que. I have no clue. I'm supposed to be, I have no time today. I have no concept of time, I have no, 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 just no. I need to open Isaac's messages because some stuff. Hey guys, I know I look a little bit weird right now, but that's gonna have to be fine. I'm currently baking cookies because I'm like eight foot four, blonde hair to the floor. You shawties never thought I'd dream about rapping hardcore. No, I ain't got a gun. No, I never lived in the club. Still live with my parents, but I'm still a thug. I'm still a gangster. You're funny, baking cookies and I, you are clubbing. Well, I just made caramel delay. Tweet, tweet, swift and T pain rapping on the same track. It's a thug story. Da, 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 da. You know. So we gotta make cookies. Also, so this is what we're wearing. I was supposed to have my hair out, but since I'm making cookies, I can. So it's up. Speak now, inspired. Purple, purple, purple. I have my purple friendship bracelets on and everything. I'm making a double batch of cookies and a brownie and probably pizza. So. As bad as this Isaac's here. We're having a little picnic. I made cookies that I showed you. Isaac's wearing Taylor merch. Sweetie. Yeah, we're just having a little picnic, eating fun, slay, very fun. Hey, you guys, I'm back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, the next Taylor themed thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the book Looking for Alaska by John Green. John Green is one of Taylor's favorite authors I've heard and I've read. Obviously, I don't know Taylor personally. Kidding, of course I know Taylor personally in my dreams, but I've seen everywhere that she loves John Green and that she especially loves the book The Fault in Our Stars, but I did watch the movie for that and I hate reading books after I've watched the movie. And also, I don't have that book, but I do have Looking for Alaska and with me being broke it's easier for me to just pick up the one I already have. Goodreads actually had a list like Goodreads the app themselves had like a list of books that Taylor Swift has read and liked and this was actually one of them and I have never wanted to pick up this book to be honest. I got it for my birthday in like 2022 or something <laughs> and it's it's never sparked my interest but I know that I think the girl who plays Alaska in the 
TV show adaption is Norwegian. That makes me want to watch the TV show. Before I watch the TV show, I need to read the book. And also, if Taylor liked it, I should probably like it. I was debating between this one, Conversation with Friends, and Romeo and Juliet because I have Romeo and Juliet, but my Romeo and Juliet copy is in Norwegian and it's like the old type of Norwegian. So it's really hard to read. It's just, it's not like normal Norwegian. It's like the sentences are built up totally differently and I'm not in the mood to read that kind of writing right now. Like I don't think I could get through a page. So I didn't want to pick that up and because I have the copy and then I also didn't want to pick conversation with friends up. This is a funny thing I'm going to tell you guys, which is kind of crazy. I haven't read any Sally Rooney books. They, they, they've they never like sparked my interest. I've never wanted to read a Sally Rooney book and I know this is so controversial and everybody loves Sally Rooney. But now I kind of need to read normal people because I've only watched like two episodes of the show. But after Isaac got me into my Paul Mescal phase, I need to watch the show and that means I need to wa read the book and everybody says it's good so why not. But anyways, I never bought Sally Rooney books. Like I never did. And then I saw one day in 2022, I think it was the summer of 2022, I saw that... Was it the summer of 2022 or was it the summer of 2023? Was it last year? What I actually don't remember. You guys, if you're true Swifties, remember the day the first rumors of Joe and Taylor breaking up came out. Was it in 2022 or 2023? Now I'm thinking maybe it was last summer. But anyways, the only reason I bought Conversation with Friends was because at the time Joe and Taylor were still together. I saw that Joe played in the movie or the show adaption of the book. And so I was like, okay, but now I need to read it because Joe Alvin, Taylor Swift, like I'm going to consume anything that has to do with Taylor, Taylor Swift. The day after I bought the book, the rumors start circulating about them breaking up. Are you joking me? And now I don't think I'll ever read it. But Taylor said she really liked the book though. I am reading Looking for Alaska. So I won't say I'm excited because I'm not. I'm actually kind of scared. But it's short and it's really light. Everybody says it's amazing. And if it's got a show, it has to be amazing. Hello, you guys. I don't know if you know what we're doing today, but you probably do because you've probably read the title and seen the thumbnail, but we're seeing Taylor. We're going to the Airs tour. My show is tomorrow. I wish it was on the second. It's on the first, but I wish it was on the second because I think she's gonna announce Jeff Taylor's version on the second. I just need to show you guys my big ass soft eyes. This is like half of it. I ate half of it and it's so big. We're driving. Here's mom. We're driving to the airport now. It takes like a half hour. I've got some way ahead of Paul Harris eyes. <laughs> Quote of the day. Oh god, no, some way I have breakfast. I'm in my No, you're driving. It's careful. Can we just keep driving? We have to keep driving. I don't know where the best lighting in this place is, but hey guys, we're in Poland. I've never been here before. It's my first time and we're here. I'm so excited. We're seeing Taylor tomorrow. Don't even, don't even talk to me. Like don't, I'm gonna cry. I haven't been able to film today because I had to charge my camera because I forgot to charge it last night, which was so annoying because this day has been eventful. So I'm gonna give you the story time. First we drove to the airport and then when we got to the airport, we got through security and everything, we went to tax free. And after the tax free, I sat and waited for a bit and then I went up to someone with, and I saw them making tailor bracelets. And so I was like, oh my God, do you wanna like trade? But they didn't have any to give to me, so I just gave them. I went into the airport bathroom and I did my makeup. It's kind of worn off now, but then we, flew and my mom and me had totally different seats like on the other side of the plane from each other but it was fine i just read 
the whole time. So I'm happy. And then when we were, this is where the eventful stuff starts. When we were going from the airport and trying to find this Airbnb, it was crazy. We didn't understand anything because everything's in Polish. We just hopped on a bus and hoped for the best. And sometimes when you hope for the best, it isn't the best. Because that bus went straight out of town. <laughs> like it did not go to Warsaw. So we had to get off that bus on the first stop. The bus stop that we got off on was pretty close to the airport so it was fine but the thing is it wasn't walking distance close you know what I mean at first we were like are we gonna take another bus are we gonna take a train so we walked all over the place right by the like highway and it was horrible we I literally almost had an anxiety attack and I'm good with traveling but it was so stressful we just decided in the end that we were just gonna walk back to the airport. So we did that, took us about five to 10 minutes. And then we got on the bus and we realized we were like, okay, we're gonna get up on that stop. Oh no, we don't need to, we're gonna get up on that stop. We don't need to, we're gonna get up on, get up on that stop. So we ended up just taking the bus almost all the way to our Airbnb. And, but not all the way. And we did actually take the metro a few stops before we got here but then we got here we were both so incredibly hungry so like trying to find out where to go was horrible and we finally got to this place we just switched our clothes because it's so hot i'm literally wearing this top and shorts because it's so hot we went out and we just walked like one block down and there was a steakhouse and we went there and we were like oh my god this, this is gonna be so good it's expensive so it's probably gonna be good and it's the first thing we found when we were so hungry it was so bad when i tell you it was bad it was horrible it was not good not it mm, yeah no so that was horrible <laughs> but we ate it and we were just happy we got some food in us then we went to the store just now and everything is so cheap it's so cheap. In a normal grocery store in Norway, an energy drink, like a box, will be around two to three dollars. You know what I mean? It was 0 0.4 dollars for an energy drink. That's crazy. Like Norway is really expensive. But we're used to it being expensive. So coming here is crazy. Like almost everything is under a dollar. <laughs> Insane, but it's amazing. I love it. So, so this is where you walk in. I don't know what this is, but I guess it's a cabinet of some sort. I don't know. And then there's a mirror and there's some hangers and stuff. And then this is the other people's room. I don't know who lives there, but someone does. And we share a bathroom. This is the bathroom right across the hallway. And then here is our room next to the mirror. And my mom did this which is really cute. We bought some bags and she did that. And then we have a little balcony here, some hangers, a ch some chairs, stuff like that. We have a little TV. We have huge amount of closet space. And then across the hallway from that is the kitchen or table, table, I guess like room one, room two, I don't know. And a little picture, just Plain little kitchen. That's the crib. We're gonna sleep here for one night and then we're gonna sleep at the airport tomorrow. Me and mom are going to watch Deadpool now and eat some snacks and go to sleep probably. And tomorrow we're just gonna maybe shop a little, walk around in the city, explore, and then I go to the concert. Okay, good morning. We've eaten and I'm currently packing off my things. My face is questionable because I forgot to take off my makeup what I forgot to take off my makeup yesterday I'm gonna try to buy makeup remover today and maybe get it off I don't know I have gotten dressed so I am wearing a debut inspired outfit backless top can you see like I don't know if I have long enough arms and then this little belt that's a really debut coat I feel like or maybe it's more like 1989 I don't know but I really like it and then shorts jean shorts I have all my friendship bracelets here I'm gonna buy some boots and a cowboy hat hopefully if I find some and we're gonna meet Ola in like few minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes and I'm so excited I'm gonna cry we are walking now we've 
put our keys back where they belong and everything. We left the apartment and, and we're going to meet Ola now. And I'm actually kind of great. I'm gonna die. I'm about to die, I swear to God. This time I'm not gonna hit someone in the head with my camera like I did last time. That didn't end well. Hey girl! Oh my God, it's been so long. Where's your mom? She's... Oh! Smile for the camera. You guys, the arena, or arena, the stadium, is right there. We're going to Ola's car right now to put our bags away. I've never seen your car either, so. It's like small, ugly, <laughs> but I love it. I'm just, you're lucky you have a car. Girl, I can't even drive, so. I'm so tired, I have my water bottle in my pocket. Oh, and I have something. We tried to find cowboy boots, but I didn't have, oh sorry. But they didn't have it anywhere. And I'm gonna try to find a cowboy hat, but I don't know where I'm gonna find that. And we apparently have really good seats, which I didn't know. Like I knew we had good seats, but I didn't know we had really good seats. So yeah, you're gonna be like so cool. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm gonna cry. I think we're gonna go buy merch.